Hello everybody. This is part two of the of the conditional versus unconditional, which is still in the, the, the series of the law of love rent. Last last time I, I left off by explaining the different changes and stuff in, in the relationships, which is dealing with the conditional part. You know, I was saying that that people People changes, you know, a woman go through changes and a man go through changes as well and stuff. And overall, I'm just letting you know that you shouldn't place an unfair, uncompromising um, parameters in that when people are changing like that, you know. And, and I don't want to discover that many relationships is based on that, based on certain changes that happen within relationships, especially dealing with marriages. Um, where, where all of a sudden the, the wife, they just, uh, the wife or the woman, she does feel, you know, incomplacent, feeling that she haven't accomplished nothing or different things like that, or feeling that she's not pretty enough or beautiful enough, you know, because she done went through different changes, you know, she done went through ch changes physically and went through changes mentally and stuff, you know, and, and she does need that type of reassurance to, to know that even though she's going through this process and stuff, that, that she's still beautiful, that she's still the same person. And it's up for the for the husband or the or the man to help her get to that that certain um positive change that she's trying to get to. You know what I'm saying? And that and in that that requires for both to be open with each other. You know, um uh, it, it may be something like uh the the um the the wife or you know the woman she she probably want to do something different from for a change like um instead of instead of, I mean like for example like instead of working she might want to be a housewife you know or may want to convert from being a housewife to working want to be career driven you know you know what I'm saying to have a some sense of purpose you know and this is the same thing as as on um, men as well and stuff sometimes we get to that certain point. Uh, within our relationship that, you know, we want to do something to want to spice the relationship well, or we want to do something that, that requires a certain type of change, physically and mentally. But even through that and stuff, you know what I'm saying, uh, you, you got to, you, you, you got to be reasonable with it. You, you can't just um, force your husband or your wife or, you know, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, to do stuff that you want them to do. When you do that, you place them into a condition, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the, the same as that, if you if you want to do something, if you can't make nobody do nothing, you know, you know what I mean, and that's what causes a, a problem in a relationship. You know, you you have to want you that person have to be willing to want to want to go through that process too, and and all that deals with communication. Uh, does really um, uh, verbalizing how the way you feel about uh, this situation and and just learning how to speak to people, you know, the right way. I learned that in a relationship that many of us, we don't even know how to talk to each other, right? We talk to each other like we, you know, like like we, each other kids or something, being disrespectful stuff, and that causes a problem in a relationship. Instead of us, you know, being honest and real. You know, some some people, um, they, they even told me that, well, this is the way how I am. You know that I talk this certain way, so I'm going to be this certain way, and you can't change me, which that is true. Um, Nobody can change you how the way you are, but you, you know what I'm saying? If you know that you, you that type of person who, who's more demanding, that, who can't verbalize themselves very well, where, where it seems like it comes out rude or disrespectful, then it's up to you to realize that and to uh, want to work on that. You know, that's the whole process of growing. You know what I'm saying? Growing on spiritually as well and stuff. You know what I'm saying? If, it, if it's something that, that causes somebody discomfort or whatever don't don't be don't have that attitude like well oh well it does you just have to accept me for me now you messed up you know what i'm saying that's something personal that that you have to deal with you have to learn how to communicate to somebody properly so where they can understand what you're saying if not then they're going to take it the wrong way and they're going to go from come from cloud nine to zero to 100 in a minute you, you know what i mean so so that that's the one that's the key thing with within, especially in this on conditional parameters too, is about that, you know. So um even even with that, even uh within having conditions and stuff on, uh, I actually looked up the definition. I want y'all to do the same thing, look up the def definition of condition, and they'll it'll really surprise you what condition really means. 
but basically it means the same exact thing that what I'm telling you that it means that you end up putting rules, regulation, laws, um, you, you put parameters, um, you demanding certain things that, that a person should do. You know, and if they don't do what they that you demand them to do, then you know, as I said, that's it. It's a wrap. It's gonna be a problem, and that's not uh, unconditional love at all. You place some conditions in love. You know, uh, a matter of fact, I'm, I want to reveal this to y'all also, and I just thought about this: is that what what if let's say hypothetically and spiritually speaking, right? Let's let's say that let's say that um that God himself was operating out of conditions based on our understanding by conditions, right? Let, let's let's say, for example, God actually was operated out of that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's say for for example that you you um you you want to live your life a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Uh whatever standards that you want to live your life, you want to live with way. Which people are doing that right now, by the way. You know what I'm saying? It could be any way, you know, whatever way you want to live your life. That's how way you want to live your life. Meanwhile, God informed you that you you have to live the life according towards his standards only, right? And so if you don't live live the live your life according towards his standards, then this is gonna happen. You live in, you're gonna be living unrighteously, you're gonna be living in sin, then ultimately you're gonna to go to hell. You're gonna be in those, in other words. Um, break away from the from the one love and fellowship that God has for you, right? Now, would that sound fair to you? Would that sound fair at the end? You end up, um, you know, passing away, going to heaven, and um, and God see you and be like, hey, God, um, I didn't live my life according to you know your standards. Then he like, no, you didn't, because I want you to do this, that, and this and that, and you didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't want to have nothing to do with you, you know, because you wouldn't want to live your life according to the standard I want you to live towards. You know what I mean? So how would you feel about that? Would you feel hurt about that? Here, here it is the creator of all things, the straight denied you, treat you like an outcast, like you ain't nothing, like you insignificant, like your opinion doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter whatsoever. Whatever you decide, it doesn't matter because it was his way. Or the highway doesn't imagine if he's doesn't imagine him being that way to you. How do you feel about that? You you feel that that's wrong. Pretty, that's pretty much most of you will, will agree with me that you feel that that's pretty much wrong. Matter of fact, most of y'all will even go into the Bible and say, "Well, God is grace." You know what I'm saying? He 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 his grace is sufficient and stuff. You know and also many of you 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 even take what I'm saying and start going into the law about the, about the law and the commandments and stuff like that. Like, well, God did say this and that, that and that. You know what I'm saying? Which this is not this particular rent is not a, a debate for that right now. You know, the another rent another time, but. How would you feel about that? You know, you you will feel hurt about that. Now, let's flip this thing around. Let's deal with with God now. Him based on having unconditional love for you, regardless of uh, how the way you are or how the how the way you perceive to live your life. You know what I'm saying? He still love you. Um, he still care about you. He still take care of you. He still do all these things for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me and you right now, you're, you're breathing, you have a life, you know what I'm saying, um, different things, you have different abundance of things. And that's because, of, as I was saying earlier, about the love of God, you know what I'm saying, the love of God also could be translated with the grace of God, you know, and that's basically what the grace of God is really tangible saying is the grace of God is really tangible saying the same things, that he loves you so much that he's willing to give you unmeasurable favor. You know what I'm saying? Even though he don't have to do it, but he's willing to do that. And that's the, the whole parameters of unconditional love. Unconditional love, there's no set standards of receiving it. You know what I'm saying? Just like grace. There's no set standard of receiving grace. Grace is grace. It's what it is. It's unmeasurable favor. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with his love. His love is unmeasurable. You, you don't necessarily have to do a full certain thing, you know what I'm saying, in order to receive his unconditional love because he loves you unconditional, you know what I'm saying? But yet and still, uh, many of us, when when we discover that God is unconditional, uh, his his love and he have love for us and stuff like that, we begin begin to willingly do certain things out of you know honor and respect for him. You know what I'm saying? Which some people uh, out of love respect, some people they the ones who are um, 
who um don't mind, you know, being part of the law standard and stuff, you know, about the Ten Commandments, uh, honoring the feast days, uh, honoring, you know, the, the the holy days and stuff like that. That's what they do. Uh, other people, you know, they would honor him by, you know, attending services either on the Sabbath or they attend services either on Sunday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever. Other would, 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 would um, honor him and his love by, you know, praying to him more often, willing to, um, help people because that's no because they know that's where God heart is at that they be more than willing really want to want to give the people and stuff like that because that's where their heart is at. You know what I'm saying? Because that's no where the creator heart is at. You know what I'm saying? And when they do stuff like that, they begin to display the true unconditional love. They're in other words, they lining up with the one uh, with the most high God, with the Father. You know what I'm saying? They lining up with with his unconditional love versus being conditional which is conditional you're not lining up at all you're not even in unity at all you you two totally different things two totally different entities all together you know what i'm saying and so that that's the whole point and that's the whole difference of understanding the difference between conditional and unconditional conditional it has rules and it has standards and it's a limit towards how far you can go Unconditional, um, there's no limit on how far you can go. You could go as it could, it's endless. You could go infinite. Love is infinite because the most high God is infinite. You know what I'm saying? His love is infinite. So if you learn to transfer his love into your being and, and understanding that, then you you'll achieve also unconditional love. Then in turns, you begin to um partake and begin to um teach your significant other too the, the same way like hey if god love me this, that way you know what i'm saying why not i love him or her the same exact way too treating her unconditional love regardless of what's going on regardless of how she uh is or are you know what i'm saying that you love that person you know what i'm saying you you um y'all both love each other unconditionally and stuff like that and stuff you know what i'm saying reasonably by the way love each other unconditionally you know you know what i'm saying with no strings attached where you won't get mad because you know your husband didn't rub your feet you know what i'm saying or your husband get mad because you didn't have sex with him you know what i'm saying um it'd be um it'd be unconditional you know what i'm saying it'd be an understanding it'd be a mutual understanding that regardless of what happens is that you'll be committed to each other you know what i'm saying and so like like i said earlier is that uh, this thing is a narrow path. Now, many people are doing this now because everybody's trying to follow this this new way of thinking, which is trying to be self righteous and selfish with love, you know. And it's not going to work. It's going to fail. Well, my time is up. So, um, uh, like I always, fight faith with faith, and I'm always praying with y'all. God bless y'all.